A very good morning to everyone. Welcome to Global Online for NTA UGC NET preparation for 2023, including your JRF. And yes, here we are with our preparation for paper one, in which we have started ITC as a next unit. We've already completed teaching aptitude, research aptitude, and com communication unit. This units you can find in the description box with the link, and you can start preparing yourself for the examination. Today in ICT, that is Information and Communication Technology, we are going to see the topic that is secondary memory. Yesterday we did a complete lecture on primary memory. Today we are going to put importance or see importance of secondary memory, which is again an important topic for your examination. So before we go ahead, let's understand what this Global Online has to offer you all for your 2023 examination, that is June 2023 examination. So when you look at the Global Online package, we have a revision crash course. We have a, the entire crash course, but right now as the time span is limited, we want you to complete your portion as early as possible and revise it very well. So we have brought up a revision crash course. Now this revision crash course is taught with an importance of questions which are from the viewpoint of your examination, updated syllabus. So the highlights of this course are daily live lectures which will be in Hindi and English. Hindi lectures are at 5 p.m. in the evening. English lectures are at 10 a.m. in the morning. You have full syllabus notes in the PDF format. You have 60 plus mock tests which will definitely give you a practice of your entire uh, paper one uh, with respect to the time limit, with respect to the strategies to solve the papers. 2000 plus MCQs which will be a type of practice questions from each and every unit which will again help you to get a detailed hands-on practice with your questions. All this you can check on our global online app. You can go to the uh, Play Store. You can download the global online app. You can see the demo lectures also. Apart from that you can see all this content is available on the global online app. In case if you have any difficulty with apps, or uh, you can get in touch with us in, on our given WhatsApp number. These WhatsApp number will help you to get sorted in case if you have any doubts with the app. Now, let's start the session for the day. So, let's first, let me first take you to this diagrammatic presentation. So, if you remember yesterday also we did this diagrammatic presentation on the topic types of memory which got divided into two parts. This is part A and this is part B. So, we have com properly did yesterday part A. Part A was with, with, with respect to internal or primary memory. So, which are divided into two types that is RAM and ROM. So, under RAM we saw the static memory that is in the forms of register and catch memory. In detail, we have done dynamic RAM, uh, RAM. We have seen SD RAM and DD RAM. We have studied static and dynamic RAM also. Then we studied ROM, that is read-only memory. We saw a programmable ROM, erasable ROM, electric erasable ROM, and flash memory. So all these details, you know, we have taken yesterday. Yesterday we have studied and given focus to our primary memory. Now let's go to the secondary memory. Now secondary memory, in the form of floppy, uh, uh, in the form of floppy disks, in the form of magnetic tapes, CD ROMs, okay, DVDs, hard disks, uh, solid test drives we have pen drives and we have SD cards so we will see them all in detail one by one you can please have a running note so that you can notes are available with you you can make a, a proper notes in order to revise yourself for the last day of examination at the same time we are also going to see one question related to this uh, from October 2021 examination on this topic how the question was framed okay so let's start now so first of all, let's understand what is secondary memory. So secondary memory, which is also called as external memory or auxiliary memory. Please remember these words very well. Like primary memory is called as internal or main memory. Your secondary memory is called as external or auxiliary memory. 
okay it is a type of that it is a type of computer memory that provides you with the long term storage of data and programs this why i am highlighting the statements or the specific words these are possible to come as a part of your questions in your statement question or in your assertion and reasoning question so basically it is a type of a memory which has a long term storage of uh, data as well as programs that are not actively used by the computer processors now secondary memory is non volatile it is non volatile which means that it can retain data when the computer is turned off i'll repeat this once again here the students get confused it is a non volatile memory secondary memory is a non volatile memory it indicates that it can retain the data when the computer is turned off which is not possible in volatile memory is it clear now unlike primary memory see here they have done the comparison also unlike primary memory which is used to store data and programs temporarily while uh, the computer is in use secondary memory is used for long term storage secondary memory is typical slow compared to primary memory but is capable of storing much larger amount of data so this is very very important especially this comes as a part of your statement question so under statement questions you can definitely get this uh, statement so on an average if we revise secondary memory secondary memory as i said it is you know i'll repeat the things once again so that you will come to know very well so secondary memory that is external memory also called as auxiliary memory which is helping to store data large long term storage of data and it is non volatile in nature so when i'm saying non volatile it means it can retain the data even when the computer is turned off okay which is not possible as a volatile memory then it talks about your secondary memory which has a long term storage it is typically slower than primary memory but what is the plus point that it is capable of storing larger amount of data so this is what it is studied we have, we can see under what we can see under your secondary mem memory okay now coming to your types of secondary memory so we have lot of types to be studied we have some specific qualities based on some specific topics where i have seen questions in detail that's the reason i said that everything you know sometimes i just uh speak about it so it's better you write do you take the running notes and you can keep the books for yourself ready so that when you are appearing for the examination you can quickly have a revision of that okay so let's go for the first type that is called as hard disk uh drives now let's see about this so they are the most common type of secondary memory which is used in modern computers which we are using as what a part of modern computers okay now we have uh, they they use spinning uh, that is uh, they use spinning disks to uh, to store mag sorry to store data magnetically so when the data is written on hard disk drive it is stored on the magnetic surface okay when the data is read from that the disk spins and a read write head reads the magnetic surface and converts the data into digital signals so here at, at least what important point you have to keep in mind yes hdds are a common type of secondary memory which are used in modern computers where it is you know data is stored magnetically so this is magnetically that is very important for you to remember it can come in the form of you know match the following or it can come in the form of statement so till here you can just remember this in this particular part you can just remember this very well now next comes is your solid state drives okay so solid state drive is a new type of secondary memory that use flash memory to store the data now very very important sentence that solid state drives okay is a new type of memory secondary memory what does it use it uses the flash memory now flash memory if you remember which comes under rom we have studied read only memory so it uses flash memory so unlike hdds sdds have no moving parts they are not there are no moving parts 
which makes them faster and durable and consume less power so sdds are much faster and durable compared to hdds okay they are commonly used in what they are used in laptops they are used in smartphones and they are used at the portable devices so you have this comparison also one point you can study now regarding solid state drives regarding their uh, speed regarding their durability let's understand its advantage okay over hdds so we studied right now you know we studied about sdds and hdds so let's have little bit of advantages known advantages of sdds so we can see in sdds the speed the speed is much more faster than your hard drives okay because of no moving parts now why the speed is faster because there is no moving part this point you have to keep in mind this means that the data can be assessed and transferred much more quickly it is done on a quicker basis it is done on a quick side reliability yes sdds have no moving parts so they are likely to fail than hdds so they are there are no less suspects there is no there is there are also less susceptible to damage from a shock or vibration so which is not possible so the reliability is much more com your cover to your hard drives then power consumption it consumes less power compared to hdds when makes them which makes them ideal to use in laptops and portable devices so why they are you know ideal to use in portable devices and laptops because of the less power consumption noise sdds do not produce any no noise uh, hdds do that because of spinning okay so in sdds there are no noise at all size sdds are smaller and lighter than hdds and it becomes easier to install as well as to transport so size also is smaller and uh, compared to your hdds is it is it clear now this is what we studied very well under see these are the advantage and these advantage are really helpful to you when you are writing the statement questions what are the advantages of sdds over hdds okay that is regarding speed regarding reliability regarding power consumption regarding noise or regarding the size so speed when we talk there is you know much faster because there are no moving parts reliability yes it is much more again because of no moving parts power consumption is less that's the reason they are used in laptops and portable devices noise that is there is no noise because there is no spinning and size is much more smaller and lighter is it clear so we have studied uh, we have studied two memory types that is hard disk drives and we have studied solid state drives and we have seen the comparison hdds are uh, older form sdds are the newer form they are smaller they are lighter they are much more faster and we can see them with the help of the advantages is it fine till here is it all clear any questions so that we can go for the next part yes all those students who have live is it clear comparison we have done very well we have studied so just let me know if any any doubt is there i'll just wait and then we will start yes everyone those who are attending the sessions live i hope it is very clear to you all so that we can start with the next uh, topic okay so yes let's start with the optical storage devices okay now optical storage devices use lasers to read and write the data so lasers are used on cds dvds blu rays they are inexpensive and can store large amount of data okay but are slower than hdds and sdds now please remember so if you are going from slower part okay so we have optical uh, storage devices then we have your hdds that is the hard disk uh, drive sorry then we have your solid state drive so these are the highest when it comes to your uh, store sorry when it comes to your speed okay so com compared to hdds and sdds optical storage device has a lesser speed then we have cds and dvds that is can store up to 1700 megabytes to 4.7 gigabytes of data 
respectively whereas blu-rays they can store up to 50 gb of data okay so data wise also we have blu-rays are much more you know and higher side okay now for optical devices let's see there you know several types of optical devices so right now i'll just help you to understand see optical devices we did when we compare optical devices to hdds and sdds we know that they are slower okay now various types instead of you know understanding only cd and dvds let's see where there are various types yes there are types okay which are listed on the screen now so cd that is cd rom that is compact disc uh, compact disc read only memory which is an optical uh, device that can hold up to 70 sorry up to 700 mb of data so cd rom has 17 700 uh, mb of data so here the size definitely on this questions you can see or they can give you to uh, arrange in ascending or descending order so you should know that Then you have CDR that is compact disc recordable. Uh, this they, they are right. Sorry, R's are the right one optical discs that can be burned with a laser to store up to 700 MB. Okay. Um, once the date this is burned, the data cannot be changed. CDRW that is read re rewritable. So it has they can hold again the uh, data up to 700 MB, but they can be written and rewritten ample number of times so that's multiple number of times okay coming to dvd and rom so that is digital versatile disk read only memory please remember these all acronyms you are supposed to know very well so they are the optical uh, devices which can hold up to 4.7 gb that is gigabytes of data they're commonly used for distributing movies and other video contents coming next is your dvd that is digital versatile which has a storage capacity of 4.7 gigabytes once they are burnt they cannot cannot be changed then we have a D, uh, digital versatile uh, rewritable dvs which again have 4.7 gigabytes of data storable and it can write and rewrite multiple amount of times and last largely as i said as blu-ray so they have they can hold up to you know 50 gb 25 gb with single layer and 50 gb with dual layer of data sorry and they are commonly used as i said for define for definition of a video and other large files so this you should be knowing very well that this that order cd rom cd uh, re uh, recordable rewritable dvd roms okay dvd re uh, recordable digital recordable and di digital rewritable and we have blu-ray so you should be able to arrange them in sequence when they have been asked with the questions okay now so we have done this slide very well we studied what is hard disk drive which we studied what is state solid state drives and we studied optical storage devices which is slower among them that is optical storage devices then we have hard disks and then we get solid state drives so under SDDs, we studied, you know, their advantages over HDDs and uh, under optical, we studied their types. Okay, this is very, very important, which we have done. Yes, there are questions you can see at the end. I'll take one question of 2021 examination. You can understand what type of question comes. Okay, now let's go to the next part that is USB flash drives. Okay, so they are very small portable devices that use flash memory now see it's written very clearly which use flash memory to store the data they are convenient for transferring the files between the computers which has a limited storage capacity okay compared to hdds and sdds usb flash drives typically range from 1 gb to 1 tb that is gigabyte to tetrabyte okay but they make use of what they make use of flash memory so their flash memory is used okay coming to memory cards now when we talk about memory cards they are very small removable you know storage devices which we used to use earlier in our phones also but yes now the capacity has increases we do not require in certain phones okay 
they are used in smartphones and other devices and these flash memory have limited storage capacity again compared to hdds and your sdds they are typically from the range of 1 gb to 512 gb that is from 1 gigabyte to 512 gigabytes okay now coming to magnetic tapes so magnetic tapes now let's see what are these magnetic tapes so magnetic tapes is a slow is a slow range a uh, cost range medium used for archiving the large amount of data it's slower than any other types of secondary memory but can have a large amount of data for a longer period of time okay magnetic tape is commonly used for backup and archival purposes in uh, business and other organizations so yes magnetic tape is again the slow cost range medium devices which is used in order to you know for for storing a large amount of data and yes they can commonly used for backup in the businesses or in the organizations hinduja very good morning yes so i hope this is very clear with you all so yes now uh, just a second sorry yeah now when i i was talking about flash drives okay so in flash drives again you have this you know capacity storage capacity so where you have small medium and high capacity so when i'm talking about small its capacity it is to 1 gb to 8 gb medium capacity is to 16 to 64 high capacity is as i said 128 gb to 1 tb in this we store we very well you know now if it is small capacity so they are relative can it they are inexpensive and they can hold 100 to few thousand photos songs and documents okay when i'm talking medium capacity they hold you know suitable large amount of files with high resolution photos and music albums high capacity it is basically the flash drives which has a huge capacity with backups or large media collection so yes this also should be you know very well uh, known uh, when you are studying about what when you are studying about usb flash drives okay yes so those students who are a bit late entered late i'll just help you to understand yesterday's and today's lecture because both these lectures were in detail taken on you know on um, memory only primary and secondary memory so let's understand so first of all types of memory internal memory and external memory so when we talk about internal memory primary memory we studied ram and rom under that we studied static in the form of registers and cache dynamic we studied sd ram and dd ram coming to rom we studied programmable erasable electrical erasable and flash memory okay and then we came towards today that is your secondary memory external memory or also called as your auxiliary memory okay uh, supurna a, a very good morning so we studied this types very well then we studied what are hdds what are sdds what are your optical storage devices what are your usb flash drives what are your memory uh, cards and your uh, your memory cards and then also we understood it very well with the help of what with the help of examples with the help of types okay based on that okay i have you know if you have heard to my class very well no doubt you i have i have given all the details i have told you to take some important notes also i framed one question over here okay this question is of 20 21 yes this question is of 2021 okay examination it's from one of the shift so let's see an it company has recently produced a new laptop model and this uses less power is smaller in size and weighs less than the previous laptop models so what is the technology which is used in this laptop is it it is faster ram is it it is blue ray drive is it it is solid state hard drive or it is lcd technology so what will be the right answer see if you have heard to the lecture to the class very well if you have noted everything very well you should be able to answer this question properly let's see how many of you are doing this yes an it company uses a laptop which uses less power and weighs smaller in size and also weights less so what exactly the technology is used yes anyone in the class come on quickly okay hinduja 
we did just now this particular question very well specifically to the laptop we are talking about so let me take you to this very well okay so see over here that the reason it is very very important to you know now you must have understood it is very important to use your attention towards classes see solid state drives are the newer type of memory okay it has no moving parts so makes them very faster durable and less power consuming and they are commonly used in laptops smartphones and portable devices okay so if you see the question it has specifically mentioned which is used in laptop which has less power consumption smaller in size and weighs le less so that is nothing but it is solid state hard drive it is solid state hard drive ssd it's uh, either ssd also you can use solid state drive or solid state hard drive is it clear so please you know such small small things now see if you have if you have listen to my class very well this point we did very well okay so it's very easier to you know answer the question what is happening is you are not able to concentrate on the theory part you just you know just uh, read it it's not i'm just telling in general and you go more focus for question answers but to make your question answer smoother you require attention towards your theory is it clear okay so today in this today's class yesterday and today we have completed memory there are lots of question on memory then i'll start with mcq i'll take those questions very well and now we have coming to the end of the class wherein one more important announcement that we at global online do provide paper to study material also which are in the form of following subjects which are reflected on the screen you can see the subjects on the screen okay in order to get these subjects you can please go to our down you can download our global online app or you can get in touch with the given numbers also the fees for same is rupees 1600 but right now we have kept an off of 20% so the fees is 1280 is it clear okay that's all for the day everyone see you tomorrow uh, that is sorry uh, see you day after tomorrow with again a new topic uh, on ict in detail thank you everyone